Bonjour, I am Sandrine, the founder and leader of the Golden Age Spiritual Ministry. Together, we learn about the embodiment of our multidimensionality so we can reclaim our full sovereignty in this beautiful reality. My High Council and I are happy to welcome you into our movement of spiritual revolution. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new transmissions. Thank you for liking, commenting below and sharing this video. Show us your love. Bonjour and welcome in this video that I record during the very potent full moon of the month of May, which is a blood moon and also total lunar eclipse. And there's just so much energy going on during the eclipse season this year. It's absolutely amazing and I love it. And we also have the Palladian portal coming on the 20th at the end of the week. And I'm so activated, guys, because I can feel the energy of the Palladians with me constantly. And as most of you know, if you have been following me for a while, I usually would channel and trench channel the Actorians. But here for this portal, my Palladian family has been like, oh, can we actually have a town? And I was like, oh my God, yes, of course, you know, I would absolutely love that. So I've actually been receiving activations, cosmic surgery myself, and it's very different experience that what I'm used to in receiving all of it from the Actorians and as well Syrians. Of course, I have already worked with Palladians before, but this time it is um, five of them and it is like uh, daily uh, teachings or daily presence in my meditations. I can really feel them in my field. I can feel them asking me to observe certain areas of my life from different perspectives. And I'm just loving it because you know what? There's always more to learn. We already know that, but Every time we work with a different stories or a different ascended master, there's this slight um, difference, perspective, angle of perception of a concept or an experience or something that we are healing, something that we are going through, something that we are looking for. It's like literally if you talk to a group of your friends and you share a story like, a lot of your friends are going to have different things to say about it. And some it's like very uplifting, sometimes it's not. But even if you, you take your best group of best friends and everybody is like super high vibe, positive and so on, they will still reflect differently back at you from this high frequency. And it's so empowering, right? When you experience that. Well, it is the same with our spirit guides, with these beautiful light beings that are out there. When they come, we literally feel differently about certain experiences that are happening in our life. So I'm so excited because I will be channeling and trans-channeling the Palladians for the very first time ever during this potent portal on the 20th of May. 2022. And we're going to work with the sacred geometry, the sacred numerology, sorry, of 555. So it means that we have five Palladians present. Five of them will share their code as one consciousness that I'm going to channel. But it is very interesting because they represent different aspects that we can relate to on Earth. So we will have a, um, a male and female as in a relationship, kind of like parents, if you want. Then we have kids, a, ge a girl and then a boy. And then we would have an ancestor's figure. And the ancestor figure represents both dynamic feminine and masculine, talking from um, different perspectives. So we will have this really well-rounded, uh, grounding uh, connection with, with them that we can relate to. And this family is going to, to speak as one voice. Hmm? And this one voice is going to flow through me. And what I'm going to share is about five codes that we really need to focus on to be able to experience greater level of love in five different areas of our lives. You know, 
we all want more love, but love is everything and everywhere. Like we want to be in unconditional love and so on. But here we talk about practical teachings, guys. Everything we share is always very practical because I am a very practical person. I like, you know, I like graphics, I like numbers, and I like all of these things, right? So they are going to help us to have more love first for the self but then also more love in a romantic relationship with a partner. And here, they're not going to talk specifically necessarily to the ones who are already in a relationship or the, to the single people looking for one, but it's like the greater architecture of why experimenting with a pathway of evolution in a partnership can be so beneficial for humans. And you will see that just by receiving this section, you will be able to uplift your life in that specific area the same way as you will uplift your relationship with self-love, the love that you have towards your, yourself on all level. And then we will also talk and share about the love that we have for our friends because that's also something that can be a bit tricky to play with like i've been hanging out with some amazing girlfriends i've been friends with for over seven years here in new zealand we are all french speaking my cousin was there as well and one of my friends stayed for the entire weekend and so on and as i was with them i realized i hadn't been in in an environment like that with with them specifically or also with any friends in Oh, like years, like literally we were all doing our hair and makeup after we went to a sauna together. It was like, a, you know, like all naked, you know, <laughs> just giggling with music. That was just absolutely wonderful. And I feel like, oh my God, I feel like a teenager again. But then I was really encouraged to also reflect to this friendship, to the ups and downs that we've had as a group of friends, because we have had many <laughs> ups and downs in this little group of friends. And I've just learned so much. Having the Palladians in my field in that specific moment allowed me to really go more deeply into the love that I have for them. So I can't wait to share that with you because uh, friendships are extremely important. And as we move from 3D to 4D to 5D, there's so much change is happening like I've got many of my students sharing with me that they're really worried to go on accelerated pathways of, of, of evolution with me or with other teachers or by themselves you know following their own mentoring from their spread guide they are worried that if, if they're going to really go for it they're going to lose the ones they love and I completely get it because as a matter of fact it does happen at times that people drop out of our field and it can be really challenging so how do we go about that here we will receive like so much value just on this subject as well then they will we will go into the codes of love relating like the connection with our family and here we talk about parents grandparents and children just in itself as well this could be like <laughs> A masterclass, right? Or even more than that. And always the architecture of love that are going to present for this specific subject, you know, in bringing like interwoven frequencies of the five codes that are going into these five areas from these five Pelidians, yes? They're going to really help us to understand the connection with blood blood relatives from a very different perspective and i don't know about you but uh just like personally i cannot wait for that because yes i'm receiving messages from them and activation from them but that's an area of my life where i need to receive more <laughs> yes, like i'm a mom and i also um have had parents uh, one of them passed away my beautiful mom the other one is still there but like we haven't talked in many years now and you know with ancestor things and so on i would be very very interested to see what comes through my channel as I will go live in during that event to share about the love that we have for our family and sometimes the lack of love that we feel for our family. And then the last one of the dimension around love that we will go for is humanity. How can we find in ourselves the power, the courage, the um, humility to open our hearts to love the human race as one 
And that means the human threads as well. You know, it means all of us here, like earth beings, star seeds, like all of the people on earth. It means all of them, the ones, as soon as you get out the house, like the neighbors, the the annoying person here, the annoying person there, the very evilish person in the other side of the world that we think the world will be a better place with, without them, but we don't want to say it because it's not love and life. How do we reconcile it? It's so challenging because I know that these people are really bad, you know, and how can I possibly love them and so on. That's in itself the work of many lifetimes. <laughs> That's why we're here, you know, to for a lot of us, especially if you are drawn to my transmission, if you really like the way I share, it probably shows that you're an old soul. You're not only a star seed, but you're also an old soul because like me, you have been on planet Earth quite a bit before and you just come back because you love it here and because you have chosen a pathway of mastery on the planet. I have a lot of my students like that. We choose pathways of mastery on the planet and I can help because I have taken many pathways of mastery on the planet in many different golden ages civilizations. I have been here all the time. (laughs) It's kind of my uh, soul signature frequency has been here all the time. So I've got you. Right now, I'm also walking on the pathway of mastery on earth work in progress in this avatar body and I embrace it with joy and lightness, devotion and commitment and discipline to the best of my abilities. But here I'm digressing a little bit because you can feel how excited I am. I'm super activated, very, very activated because I can feel the power of this transformational journey that we're going to go through as a collective during the Pelidian portal on the 20th of May. To prepare, I would love to invite you to observe during your day. If you have moments of being a bit like electric, um, activated, a bit unsettled, feeling overwhelmed, feeling stressed, observe that from the center point of your fractal, which is the body of work that I teach. I talk extensively about that. Observe your human in this kind of like activated, stressed or overwhelmed feeling. Then draw back into your heart and simply hum, hum a sound and go like Simply hum whatever sound wants to come. Keep your mouth closed, close your eyes, and feel the vibration of the sound in your chest. If you feel that there is a lot of agitation, you might even tap a little bit around the chest and the shoulders, like with the tip of the finger, simply humming. and draw your awareness inside you. And as you draw your awareness inside you, go into your heart and try to feel the sound vibration coming from your heart and simply call in, have this glimpse, this awareness, the thought coming like connecting to Palladian frequency now, open, opening up my heart to receive the energies from the Palladian portal. Because what is going to happen then is that you're going to literally allow this drop to happen into the field when you start resting within yourself. So you don't identify with the agitation, with a bit of stress, with a bit of overwhelm that's going on there, but you are literally in your heart and you hum for yourself and you think for yourself with no other purpose than that, than humming, than feeling the humming in your own heart. And then you simply connect that heart to the Palladian portal. Just think it and it will happen. For some of you, we'll start feeling strong currents, electromagnetic currents flowing through your body as your heart opens up. Because often electricity, this feeling of like feeling electric happens because thoughts very activated, brain is very activated, like this electric, you know? But the magnetism will come more from the heart and the womb. So really drop this humming down. 
And then once you feel this, you might even like to hum from your womb area, to really drop there into your ara place, your, your core center. And do that until you really feel that the frequencies have shifted. So as I say, some of you will feel like very strong electromagnetic current coming to stabilize. Others will also feel palladians around them. If you can allow it, why don't you do that for 10, 15 minutes and over? You might even like to put some beautiful music in the background that doesn't really have too many lyrics, more like, you know, beautiful um, tune that we found on Spotify, on YouTube and so on relaxing music and create like a healing space for yourself. Call Pelidian frequency, ask them to come and prepare you. So your nervous system, adrenal system, your physical system, your mental system, your emotional systems are ready for the activation of your spiritual system that's going to be freaking activated during this portal. And it is activated or ready to start with. But the more you are conscious of it, the more you co-create with the dynamic of this portal, the more you can foster them. That's a process of co-creation where we consciously choose to harness the energetics that is offered for us out there in the quantum through planetary alignment, through so many energetic dynamics that we place our human in a specific date and time for a specific purpose, then it acts like boom, literally. That's a huge accelerated pathway of evolution that is present in just an hour, two hours, or just one day, depending on the length of the portal or the gateway. So on the 20th of May, create a ceremony. You can have some cacao or tea. You can do some cards or journaling. Go for a walk in nature. Create silence at least for an hour during that day. So you can be in contemplation and meditation and simply connect with the Palladian frequency. Ask them to be there, you know, pray with them, thank them for being there, ask them questions, have a pen and paper ready. So maybe automatic writing will come. Allow yourself to open up. You can lie down, you can sit up. Do whatever flows from your heart. And there is also something absolutely powerful that you can do is to join me for this trans channeling session that I will be giving. Because the 555 numerology is going to activate your all your systems, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, to benefit from this numerology. So it's like five Palladians being channeled five specific codes that you will receive on the day for five specific areas of life that I have mentioned. Self-love, romantic love, love for friends, love for family members, and love for humanity. Together, these five numbers create the energetic dynamics of pure abundance and profound connection as these gateways of abundance and connection, which are two of the four primal codes, four primal code love, abundance, freedom, and connection. Love, we connect everything about it, you know, like this five code of love, so it is already there. This numerology of 555 opens up abundance and connection, so we are free. The fourth code is going to be fully activated, so we are free to experience our highest timeline on this planet, so we can embody fully our soul purpose and soul mission. As our soul purpose is anchored in such high level of frequencies that it requires us personally to vibrate at a level that is going to allow those, these codes, these downloads to flow. To be able to be at that level is to be able to vibrate the frequencies of love, of abundance, of connection and freedom already in this life. So you can see that this Palladian transmission is going to be extremely potent because everything that we do is multidimensional. Because not only will I channel them, but you will also have them in your field working on you through quantum surgery. You will go 
on this journey with us. It's like, I got you, you go on this journey. So your psychic abilities, your intuition are hugely expanded. You will receive many gifts during this activation. So it would be my great pleasure for you to join us live on this Friday, the 20th of May at 10 a.m. New Zealand time. If you cannot make it live, don't worry at all. It is recorded and I send the recording afterwards. Okay? So I would absolutely love to see you. It, it would be phenomenal. And in any case, I invite you to use this dynamic that I have shared about now with consciousness. So you prepare for it a little bit every day, as I have mentioned before by literally humming in your beautiful heart, connecting to the intention of opening up for the portal and on the day of the portal, create a ceremony and be in silence for at least an hour. So you give the Palladians what they need to serve you. So it's a co-creation journey. I love you dearly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me on the 20th of May. You will find the link below and also you can visit my website, sandrins.com, if that's easier. Why not invite your friends? Because then you can share about it, which allows the experience to land even more deeply in your reality. I love you dearly. Remember, we were born free. And we are here to reclaim the power that's within us. I am here for you, guiding the way of the golden age, always. Me and my spiritual ministry have the great honor and pleasure to serve humanity at the moment of the Great Awakening. And it is so exciting to do it free with you and for you. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye! We hope you enjoy this transmission. Please share it around with your friends. As you do so, you weave webs of divine light around the planet. Together we rise, creating a new golden age of miracles. We were born free, reclaim the power within.